Hello. This is another clinical question, short answer question. Uh, at first, we will read and try to find out the actual diagnosis. A five-member fisherman family was rushed to emergency department of Upozala Health Complex in midnight of April when they fell ill after family dinner. All of them are conscious, very important point, but disney, that is the having respiratory distress and having excessive salivation and generalized weakness of all limbs. What is the diagnosis? I repeat again, the fisherman family, midnight, after family dinner, they fell ill. But, but on examination, they are all are conscious having respiratory distress with excessive salivation and generalized weakness of all limbs. What is the diagnosis? This is typical scenario of puffer fish poisoning. What is puffer fish poisoning? Puffer fish poisoning. Okay. So let's go through a theoretical discussion of puffer fish poisoning. Uh, this is the puffer fish poisoning theoretical lecture discussion. Uh, puffer fish poisoning from the ingestion of puffer fish. What is the cause behind the poisoning? Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas on the puffer fish skin or vibrio cholerae uh, in the puffer fish gut have been shown to produce tetrodotoxin. This is the actual toxin that is responsible for the clinical scenario. Tetrodotoxin, which is present in the puffer fish gut or puffer fish skin, produced by the pseudomonas on the skin or vibrio in the puffer fish gut. So, mechanism of action of this toxin that is the tetratoxin, mind it, tetratoxin. Tetratoxin block voltage gated sodium channel. So, blockage of uh, uh, voltage gated sodium channel means in the generation of action potential and propagation of action potential will be inhibited or reduced. So action potential will not be generated and will not be propagated. And the, another character of this uh, tetratoxin is tetratoxin is it is heat soluble. Heat sorry heat stable but it is partly inactivated by alkaline solution. This information will help us in treatment section. They are heat stable but they are unstable in alkaline media. Okay. So clinical features patient present patient present paresthesia salivation gastrointestinal disturbance nausea vomiting diarrhea maybe sweating headache, tachycardia, that is the autoimmuno disturbance, these are the autoimmuno disturbance, hypokalemia, tremor most important, vertigo, dysphagia, dysphonia. Patient may have uh, ataxia due to cerebral involvement, weakness involving the limbs and the most important clinical finding is fixed dilated pupils and these finding these finding may mimic this might be case of brain death so this is uh, the differential diagnosis actually ascending paralysis with respiratory depression and failure this is the actual uh, complication and cause of death so patient actually suffer from paralysis of the limbs most uh, at first it involves the lower limbs and it ascends within very short time, within few hours. And when the respiratory muscles are involved, patient needs 
urgent mechanical ventilation or respiratory support. And the last line very important, patients may be paralyzed but patient there is still conscious. So therefore they are able to hear all that is said. Patients hearing everything but they are unable to move their body parts. So this type of clinical finding we also find, uh, find in uh, tetanus, in case of tetanus. Patients suffer uh, epilepsy or convulsion in presence of their conscious level. So that was that is the tetanus is very much painful for the patient. Now, uh, what are the differential diagnosis? Differential diagnosis: paralytic. This is puffer fish poisoning but it may be uh, selfish that is the paralytic selfish poisoning or neurotoxic selfish poisoning and this may be a case of sorry this may be case of botulinum toxin or ciguatera toxin and uh, the clinical diagnosis may be uh, misleading to Gulenberry syndrome now the treatment how to treat this patient if patient come within four hours of ingestion of puffer fish gastric lavage and this gastric lavage should be done with 2% of sodium bicarbonate solution as because already we uh, said that this is unstable in alkaline media as it is unstable or it goes break down uh, in presence of bicarbonate solution or alkaline media so gastric levels should be given with 2% sodium uh, bicarbonate and this will break down the uh, tetrodotoxin. And gastric levels should be followed by activated charcoal to enhance the gastrointestinal loss or elimination. And there is no specific treatment actually. Cholinesterase uh, uh, inhibitor, endorphin or most importantly new stigmine are recommended. Airway and ventilation, ventilatory management is most crucial, most uh, important for life saving. If patients have uh, respiratory muscle involvement in the form of respiratory distress with uh, uh, oxygen saturation very low, then patient needs mechanical ventilation and this is life saving. A careful monitoring of all vital signs. So this is the treatment modality. This is all about puffer fish for you. Thank you.